Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I need some art therapy. I'm having a sort of an off day. So I'm going to grab my glasses off my head and put them on my face. And my ring pour cup and my other cup are handy. And I'm going to start with a little bit of my semi-gloss white latex house paint from Walmart with Artist Loft in it and put that right in the bottom. And I did not clear the one tip I grabbed for first. So I'm going to put a little bit of my black acrylic enamel that's gloss right on the top of that. And then I'm just going to get down and get funky as best I can, considering that I thought I had cleared all my tips and I'm not seeing that that is the case right now. I have this funky pink that's forever old and I didn't like the color it looked like in the bottle because it's got orange stuck in there. So I'm going to try and use some of that up. And I made up myself some quinacridone magenta today from Golden. And I have some purple, dioxazine purple, that's a Hobby Lobby Masters, Masters Touch brand. And I'm going to go back again and I'm going to just grab colors that I like that are actually open <laughs> and see if I can make them work together. I'm going to grab a little more white. It's good to put some white in between layers. It, it definitely changes things up a little bit. That is my purple flash from Folk Art. It's a color shift. I'm not sure it should be next to that yellow <laughs> at all, but it's going, so I'm going to try it. Whoa, almost knocked my torch over. That would have made a big clunk. There's my dioxin, excuse me, <laughs> I'm really twisted today. That was my quinacridone magenta again. And some more white. And some more black. Acrylic enamel. And I still want this Prussian blue in there. So I'm just going to force myself to be patient enough to clean out that tip and make you wait which is something I'm not very good at. So I'm going to use a little more Bahama Blue from Anita's, some Prussian Blue, some of this stuff I'm trying to use up, which has got golden iridescent pearl fine in it, and I like it a lot. I didn't put any gold in there. I'm thinking I might want to just risk putting some green gold in there, because I can. That's the name of my first book. It's on the Amazon link. It's underneath Show More. And I've got some turquoise. Hopefully that thing that just fell in there won't be a problem. That is a color shifting turquoise. Probably a turquoise flash, I'm assuming. <laughs> but it's for folk art. And that's some regular turquoise. And I am going to give myself, to start with, a little more white. Maybe I'll use some gold. If I can find it, I'll use it. And I know it's here, right here somewhere. Well, whichever one of these bottles is open, that's the one I'm going to use. There's the gold. Not only that, I'm going to put it right through the center, like I am known to do sometimes. And then do some more orange. I'll be using my colors for something else, obviously, because there's too many of them here. That is a quinacridone magenta with some other colors to soften, soften it up. I'll get these out of here. I'm going to grab my 14 by 14 inch canvas and I am going to do something even stranger than usual. I'm going to put some paint in a random pattern all over. And that's probably too much paint and I don't care right now. I want to try it and it's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab an edge catcher which is appropriately the right size. I'm going to knock some bottles over. I wish I had not left it. Ah, that torch was just destined to go over today. Not usually overly clumsy, but today is not my best day. Alright, so let me grab some yellow, because I really think that I will like to have some yellow in there. Don't ask me why. 
My muse is screaming it in my ear, so I'm going to listen. And now, I'm going to get the rest of my bottles out of the way before I knock them over anyway. I didn't use my other cup. I've got an edge catcher. I'm going to let everything go where it wants to go for a minute. I've got fried eggs. <laughs> Pretty sure that'll that'll go away. Hopefully this will be at the very least fun. And if it's fun for me, then that's going to be an assistance at this point. Let's get that all the way down there. That, it's, it's a pretty bizarre color combination. But I like the stripes. So I don't hold the edge catcher against the edge of the canvas. I expect this paint to create a seal. And I try and just let it run into it and then rock it a little bit and send it back again. And if I've got places to fill in this time, I will. But in the meantime, if I'm not filling into my corners, that's okay with me right now because I have something to hang on to still. I don't mind that there's other paint on my edge catcher because I, once I roll the paint wave down to, to it, then I can let it pool, rock the edge, and send it down. far as I want to go with it. Now I'm getting to the point where I'm running out of can dry canvas to hold on to, but still feeling like it's okay. Now I could stop the paint and let it sit on the edge catcher. And if I did that, then I could put it somewhere else. And I'm tempted to show you what that looks like. So I'm just covering my edge. I'm going to let it fall right down. I'm going to actually knock off that extra paint. I've got plenty of paint in my cup left, but I'm going to grab an OXO omelet turning spatula and I'm going to grab just what I see right there and what I see right here. even got looks to be a little bit of orange and I am making a little bit of a mess I do have some spare color I'm going to knock off the edge of my spatula right down at that other place I'm going to quick like a bunny hopefully grab my torch I kind of want to grab my straw but I've been having spittle problems let's get a clean straw that'll help Sort of annihilated my gold, but I see that thing. I don't know what that thing is. That's just an effect of the paint. Agitated black and white will often sell. which is one of the reasons I'm blowing into it. If I don't like what I get, I'm going to pour some more paint off. In the meantime, I'm going to quick, as I said, I've got some beautiful cells. The black, the enamel paint usually makes awesome cells. So we're getting rid of some of the bubbles caught in the paint. I see that I have a little corner uncovered. Since I made up my quinacridone magenta today, I've been having a craving, so I'm really just going to give myself permission to do more of what I am appreciating right now.
Also, if I blow into it, it does sell. Kind of makes me want to grab my airbrush. <laughs> Might be a bad day to do that. So we're making other cells, possibly, and adding a color I want to see more of. Not blowing too hard because I think it is sink down and disappear. Feels good. Feels like art therapy. That's <laughs> what I needed. Let's grab some regular black. And throw it a couple places I feel like it. And maybe one more tip. That's pretty interesting, actually. I'm liking it. It's a good thing I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures because that means that it'll keep it from cracking as long as the recipe is good. It wasn't for a brief time. So I'm just going to stick my skewer in and drag the black and white around in random shapes and patterns because I can. I'm going to take my skewer Drag some of that paint up there also. Since I have it on there, I might as well put it right in there. That's cool. Okay, well, really interesting colors. And I'm going to use a straw again. See what I can unearth. I like that. I'm looking for something a little more spectacular, but I'm getting closer all the time. I think a little tiny bit more of this yellow. Just to draw the eye up and around and up again. Same with that orange. Am I done with the orange? I'm almost done with everything, which means I should be telling you guys. I do sell my artwork and my email address is below the video. Underneath the link tree. The link tree holds Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. And my website and Sachi Art and all kinds of interesting things, including my Amazon link, where if you shop there at no it cost to you, it helps me out. And uh, should you happen to want to be a contributor to the studio and you don't want to shop on Amazon, I have PayPal and Patreon, and the icons are on my YouTube channel banner. And also the links are on that link tree, where you can find all kinds of cool stuff. The Amazon link is worth going to. It does have a lot of really cool stuff that you might be interested in, including the OXO omelet turning spatula, which I really kind of want to take a little bit of white. What do I want over there? You know what? I want some purple. And I don't have any of my... Just going to blow that right in there. And I like it. I can do it some more. And as much as I'd love to leave those dots there, I'm pretty sure that white will... That white will just make it sink right away. So I'm going to take my skewer. Make a real gentle pattern. And then if I don't care for the pattern as much as I wanted to.
I try and experiment with new things every time. That way, if I like an effect I get, I have a chance to utilize it. I almost always use the dull end of a skewer. The sharp end is dangerous. I definitely am a spiral addict. And if a painting is not doing it for me 100%, and I feel like spiraling a few things out, there's almost never anything that can stop me from doing it. And I like a lot of things about this painting, but I like it better with spirals in it. And I like most of them better with spirals in them. So I am pretty well done. And I should say this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Done with art therapy making kind of a mess, but feeling a lot better about having fun with paint. Don't like that one dot. So I'm going to just use my skewer to roll it up. And then because I talked about spirals, I'm going to do it. Do it to it. With that magenta. And drag the orange up a little bit. And give it one last torching. And uh, what should I tell you guys? Please ask questions if you want to. I'll answer you when I can, as soon as I can. I do sell my artwork and I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. And if you would have an interest in contacting me, you might want to use the email address I left under the link tree underneath the video. Do I want any more yellow? I, I'm trying to decide. I think I'm okay. a little shape in that and I'm happy with that. So I'm torching to release the bubbles caught in the paint and to release some patterns which happens very nicely. I have beautiful cells and if I get up on my ladder quick enough I can show you some of them. This is a very cool piece especially there's a lot of great little places in here. Over there, over there, over here, over there. And I have colors left so I will do another painting. Alright, that's enough of that for right now. Let's see if I can show you guys a close-up. The middle is not the best part of this, so I'm going to try and move that over there so you can see that part. I love that part right there. But I also love a lot of other things about this. And there are a lot of colors in here. And I did manage to make them work fairly well. That's still my favorite part. My camera does not stay in the position I put it in very easily. I will be cleaning up my tile. I will be seeing you guys anon. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Know I love you. And bye for now.